Good morning, this is Sir Romel Magkalas, your subject teacher for General Mathematics. Quarter 1, Module 3, Operations and Functions. Here are the contents of Module 3. Lesson 1, Addition and Subtraction of Functions. Lesson 2, Multiplication and Division of Functions. Lesson 1, Addition and Subtraction of Functions. Let us do some addition. If a is equals to x plus 1 and b is equals to x plus 2, what is a plus b? Before we proceed, let me give you some reminders. Reminder, in adding terms with variables, it is a must that the variable must be the same. If the variable is not the same, it is retained. Let me give you some examples. Number 1, 5x plus 3x. In this example, same ang ating variable x. Kaya naman ang sagot dito ay 8x. Number 2, 4 plus 2x. Sa example na to, meron tayong unang term na constant at ang pangalawang term naman ay may variable. Ang sagot naman dito ay 4x plus 2x, retained lang siya. Dahil ang kabilang term ay walang variable. Number 3. 5x squared plus 2x squared. Sa example na to, meron tayong same na variable at same din ang kanilang exponent. Kaya naman ang sagot dito ay 7x squared. Number 4, x plus x. Same ang variable na ito, kaya ang sagot naman dito ay 2x. Now let's proceed to the lesson proper. If a is equal to x plus 1, and b is equal to x plus 2, what is a plus b? Kinatanong sa ating given ay ang a plus b. Ang unong step, palitan natin ang value ng para sa a at ang value ng para sa b. Magkakaroon tayo ng parenthesis of x plus 1 plus parenthesis ng x plus 2. Then, anggalin natin lahat ang parenthesis. Kaya naman magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 1 plus x, plus 2. Ang susunod na step is to arrange the terms with like terms. Ang mga terms na may mga variable ay pagsamasamayin natin at pagsamasamayin din natin ang mga constant. Magkakaroon tayo ng x plus x plus 1 plus 2. Now, we can do the addition operation. I-add na natin ang may mga variables na terms at ang mga constant na terms. Ang final answer is 2x plus 3. Now, let's proceed to example number 2. If a is equal to 4x plus 5 and b is equal to 3x minus 4, what is a plus b? Ang hinahanap natin muli dito ay ang a plus b. First step, palitan natin ang value ng para sa a at value ng para sa b, which is parenthesis of 4x plus 5 plus parenthesis of 3x minus 4. Ang galing na natin lahat ng parenthesis. Meron tayong 4x plus 5 plus 3x minus 4. Now, we can arrange the terms with like terms. Pag samasamayin natin lahat ng may variable sa unahan, at sa dulo naman, ang mga constant. Meron tayong 4x plus 3x plus 5 minus 4. Now, we can do the addition operation. Pag samasamayin na natin ang may variable na x, at gamitin na natin ang addition operation. Ang ating final answer is 7x plus 1. Let us try subtraction this time. If c is equal to 3x plus 2 and d is equal to 2x plus 1, what is c minus d? Before we proceed, let me give you some reminders. Reminder, in subtracting terms with variables, it is a must that the variable must be the same. If the variable is not the same, it is retained. Let me give you some examples. Number 1, 5x minus 3x. In subtracting terms with variables, follow the sign with the highest value. In this example, 5x is higher than 3x. Therefore, we will follow the sign of 5x, which is positive. Ang sagot dito ay 2x. Number 2, 4 minus 2x. Sa example na to, ang unang term ay constant. 
ang pangalawang term ay may variable. Kaya naman ang sagot dito is retained for minus 2x. Number 3. 5x square minus 2x square. Sa example na to, meron tayong variables. Same din ang kanilang exponent. Kaya naman isusubtract lang natin ang 5 minus 2. Ang sagot is 3x squared. Number 4, x minus x. Parehas ang ating variable na x. Kaya naman ang sagot dito is 0. 1 minus 1 is equals 0. Number 5, 5x minus 13x. Katulad ng kanina, in subtracting terms with variables, follow the sign with the highest value. Sa example na to, 13x is higher than 5x. Kaya naman ang susundin natin na sign is ang 13x, which is negative. Kaya ang sagot dito is negative 8x. Let's go back to the lesson proper. If c is equal to 3x plus 2 and d is equal to 2x plus 1, what is c minus d? Ang hinahanap dito is c minus d. Ang unang step, palitan natin ang value ng para sa c at value para sa d. Which is parenthesis of 3x plus 2 minus parenthesis ng 2x plus 1. Next step is to distribute the negative sign. In this example, we have negative 1 multiplied by 2x plus negative 1 multiplied by 1. Kaya naman, magkakaroon tayo ng 3x plus 2 minus 2x minus 1. Now, we can arrange the terms with like terms. Pwede na natin gawin yung pagsamasamain ang may mga variables sa unahan at constant naman sa may dulo. Which is 3x minus 2x plus 2 minus 1. Huwag natin kakalimutan isama ang sign nila. Now, we can do the addition and subtraction operation. We can now do the subtraction in 3x minus 2x. Then, meron din tayong 2 minus 1. Kaya ang final answer natin is x plus 1. Now, let's proceed to example number 2. If m is equal to 4x plus 5 and n is equal to 3x minus 4, what is m minus n? Sa example na to, ang hinahanap natin ay ang m minus n. Ang una ay gagawin natin is to replace the value of m and value of n, which is parenthesis of 4x plus 5, minus parenthesis of 3x minus 4. Now, distribute the negative sign. In this example, we have negative 1 multiplied by 3x, then negative 1 multiplied by negative 4. We will have 4x plus 5 minus 3x plus 4. Now, we can arrange the terms with like terms. Pagsamasamay na natin sa una ang mga may variable at sa dulo naman ang mga constant. We will have 4x minus 3x plus 5 plus 4. Gamitin na natin ang addition at subtraction operation. Meron tayong 4x minus 3x, which is x plus 5 plus 4, which is 9. Kaya naman ang final answer natin is x plus 9. Lesson 2, Multiplication and Division of Functions. Let us do some multiplication. If a is equals to x plus 2 and b is equals to x plus 3, what is a times b? In solving multiplication of integers, we can use many methods. One of it is using FOIL method, first, outer, inner, and last term. FOIL method was introduced during your junior high school years. Let's continue the multiplication process of a functions. If a is equals to x plus 2 and b is equals to x plus 3, what is a multiplied by b or a times b? Sa example na to, hinahanap natin si a multiplied by b. Ang unang step is palitan ulit natin ang value ng a at value ng b, which is parenthesis of x plus 2 times parenthesis of x plus 3. Sa example na ito, gagamit tayo ng FOIL method. Ang unang step is first, first term. 
Multiply natin ang mga first term ng given x times x, which is x squared. Next is the outer term. Multiply natin si x by 3. Ang magiging sagot is 3x. Next is the inner term. 2 times x. Na ang magiging sagot is 2x. And of course, last term. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Pag nakuha na natin lahat ng ating foil method, ang susunod na step is to add all the result. So, meron tayong x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Sa example na to, pwede natin pagsamahin si 3x at 2x dahil same sila ng variable at same na exponent. Kaya ang final answer natin would be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Another method is by multiplying the term a to term b. A multiply by b. So, meron tayo parenthesis of x plus 2 multiply by x plus 3. Ang unang step is to multiply x times x then x multiply by 2. So, ang magiging sagot, x squared plus 2x. Next is to multiply by x by 3 then 2 times 3. Ang magiging sagot is 3x plus 6. Now, we can simplify the equation. Pagsamayan natin si 2x plus 3x dahil same sila ng variable at same ng exponent. Ang final answer natin would be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Next example for multiplication of function. If p of x is equal to 2x squared plus 4 and d of x is equal to 7x squared plus 2x plus 13, what is p of x multiplied by b of x? In this example, to make it easier to solve, solve it by terms. Sa example na to, ang hinahanap natin ay ang p of x multiplied by d of x. Ang unang step, palitan natin ang value ng p of x at d of x ng given, which is parenthesis of 2, x squared plus 4, multiplied by parenthesis of 7x squared plus 2x plus 13. Sabi nga katina, we're going to solve it by terms. Punahin natin ang 7x squared plus 2x plus 13 at 2x squared. Kapag minultiply natin ang dalawa na yan, ang magiging result ay 14x raised to the 4 plus 4x cubed plus 26x squared. Next, gamitin naman natin ang 7x squared plus 2x plus 13 multiply by 4. Ang magiging result naman ito ay 28 x squared plus x, 8x plus 52. Next step is to add all the result. Pagsamayin na natin si 14x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 26x squared plus parenthesis of 28x squared plus 8x plus 52. Maaari na natin gamitin ang addition at subtraction operation. Sa example na to, Ang pwede lang natin pagsamahin ay ang x, 26x squared at 28x squared. Dahil pareha sila ng variable na may parehas ng exponent. Ang magiging final answer natin would be 14x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus 54x squared plus x, 8x plus 52. Let us try division this time. If c is equals to 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 and d is equals to 2x minus 1, what is c divided by d? In solving division of integers, we can use many methods. Some of it is by using synthetic division and long polynomial division. Let us now continue the process of division of function. In this example, we're going to divide c by d. Replace the value of c and d by the given, which is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1. Or we can simply write, this, write it 
as the divisor as 2x minus 1 and the dividend as 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Your goal is to eliminate the first term in the dividend which is the 4x squared. Using the divisor 2x minus 1, we can use 2x as multiplier to produce 4x squared. So 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x is equal to 4x squared minus 2x. Sulat lang natin sa baba ng ating dividend ang 4x squared minus 2x. Now we can perform the subtraction operation. Mumultiply natin ng negative 1 ang ating 4x squared minus 2x. Pag multiply natin ng negative 1, makukuha natin ang negative 4x squared plus 2x. We can now eliminate 4x squared and negative 4x squared. Now, bring down negative 2x plus 1. Next is to eliminate the difference of the second term, which is the 2 negative 2x. Using the divisor 2x minus 1, we can use negative 1 as multiplier to produce negative 2x. That's why meron tayong 2x minus 1 multiplied by negative 1. Makukuha natin is negative 2x plus 1. I-write it down lang natin ulit doon sa baba ng ating negative 2x plus 1. Now, we can perform the subtraction operation. I-multiply natin ng negative 1 ulit ang ating negative 2x plus 1. Ang makukuha nating sagot is positive 2x minus 1. We can now eliminate negative 2x plus 2x saka yung positive 1 and negative 1 which is 0 na siya. Kaya ang ating final answer would be 2x minus 1. Now, open your module and answer all the activities and assessment in any piece of paper. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O. Kita kaya solitay next week.